Okay, so I want to do a upgrade to a new overflow style that's going around on YouTube. Um, this is Joey is one of the guys, King of DOI, that did this. Um, so it's basically like this here. Here's the regular overflow, and rather than elbowing up, he uses this tube here now, and he'd have an end cap on the end of that tube. And then he suction cups this tube to the glass tank. So I found suction cups are fairly unreliable. So the minute that suction cups let go, this canister with the end cap on it floats and basically breaks your suction and causes a problem. So I've come up with a better way of doing this to eliminate, uh, sorry about that, tough doing this one handed, to eliminate suction cups. So no need to drill holes in this to put suction cups. Um, this is the same way that Joey does it, with the exception of the end cap. You're going to put a coupling on it, and then you're going to get this fitting here, <clears throat> inch and a half to one inch, and cut out the little barb that's in there that keeps the pipe from going all the way through. And then the overflow pipe, sorry mine's hacked because I don't have the right tools to do it, but you just cut a nice big hole in it like that. And then I'm going to pass this through there, which is again tough to do one-handed. <clears throat> and then this whole assembly slips onto here, and now it's locked in place onto this overflow tube. So now it cannot slide up and down, won't need suction cups, and the idea is to push that pipe through a little bit further and put this end cap on it. There you go, new overflow. So I'll get it up and running and show it in place.